Greetings WordPressers, Jackson here. How are you? Welcome to the channel. Nice to have you as always. So starter block themes, what is that? Well, before I get onto that, quick recap on block themes. You know, WordPress's new-ish page and site builder tool where you can create your site and themes from scratch without any coding required. You know, like all the page builders have been doing for years. Page builders like Divi and Beaver Builder and Elementor and Bricks and Brizzy and Quickly, RIP Quickly, one of my all time favorites. There's dozens of them, zillions of them. And it's like WordPress's very own version of that. Definitely the future. I mean, it's the only future. The idea is that they will replace classic themes at some point, maybe. Anyway, back to the main topic, starter themes for blocks, block starter themes. We have a look over at the um, WordPress theme directory and we go to, we click on block themes. We can see that there is huge amounts of block themes now. Literally every kind of type of style of aesthetic and vertical market and colors and well, you, you kind of get, get my drift. There's as many, I mean, there's only, I think there's about 700 odd last time I counted. And you're not going to be coming up short when you're looking for a block theme. But not there doesn't seem to be too many kind of like base starter themes. Now, don't get me wrong. There are a couple of absolute corkers. Brian Gardner's Frost is absolutely knock it out of the park. Amazing, beautiful, simple, brilliant starting point for no coders to get their whistle slightly wet got some great base pages and patterns and all sorts of good stuff like that and i couldn't recommend it more highly another cracker is uh, the ollie theme similar vibe really great base site where you can then just start putting in content and changing colors and fonts and all that sort of stuff there's a, there is of course 2024 2023 and 2021 before that as well uh released towards the end of last year first time wordpress.org has got it bang on the money with the default theme and there is a lot you can do with this theme if you want to take it and manipulate it into a theme of your own. But all of these really cool sort of base sites means you're not kind of starting from scratch with a kind of boilerplate type approach. But if that's your vibe and that's kind of my vibe and what this video is about, there are some great resources. And I would just want to say straight off the bat, Carolina Nymark's full site editing with WordPress or foresightediting.com site, this one, is absolutely superb if you want to get deep diving into WordPress block theming, full site editing. And there is a brilliant block theme generator here, which I've used a lot. And it's what I used originally to create my sort of very basic base template starter themes. So you put a few options in and you can generate it. Now, uh, there's also the create block theme plugin, which is again, knock it out of the park, beautiful, which I use all the time when I'm building, and there's gonna be some more tutorials about using this within your theme building workflow. And you can see it here with the sort of functionality you can use it for where you can create blank themes and copy themes and clone themes and all sorts of good stuff. But the block theme generators, as much as um, you know, amazing resources, the drawback is that they're either overly opinionated, i.e. there's way too much settings and patterns and various bits and pieces in that you've kind of got you've kind of got to unpick if you want to have a real base level site or they're completely blank i.e there's there's nothing it's like there's no styling there's no width there's no there's nothing so what i wanted was a more of a a base starting point so for, you know that i need for everyday gigging you know like a, get a design build it into a block theme or take an existing site and migrate it, convert it into a block theme. So you don't need the patterns, the font library. You, don't, you, you just don't need anything, but you do need a minimal amount of settings within the theme so that you're not rebuilding that every single time you take a design and want to plonk it on top. So that's what I've got for you here today. I've got my version of a starter block theme. So let's have a little look at it, shall we? There it is, start a block theme. Let's activate that and go and have a look at the editor. Nothing much to it. Uh, let's go and have a look at the front end of that as well. As you can see, it's pretty blank. It's pretty starting point, sample page. Absolutely no styling, no fonts, no colors, no nothing. Well, there's a few colors, otherwise everything would be transparent, but you kind of get catch my drift. Back to the editor, I'll give you a quick tour. So navigation, there's only just the 
page list essentially styles get onto that in a little bit pages are in your site so same as always templates just the absolute bare minimum for what you know what i consider you need as a starting point so archive page blog home index which you need more of that in another tutorial 404 page the pages page, which is literally header, content, footer. Notice I didn't put a title in there because I don't know about you. If you built a site from a design or, or for any reason, I can't remember the last time I used a, a template that had the title as part of the template. Yeah, you know, if you want that, just make a new template with the title in it. Anyway, search results, again, just a query loop, very basic, single post, as simple as it could be, title, image, bits, content, comments, that's it. And then one custom template, which is a blank page, always useful in so many different ways, landing pages, building out special pages, etc. Back to our main editor page patterns there are none believe it or not because you want to make those when you're doing your site build if i've got a load of patterns already in my theme and i'm building that theme to a design there's not really much point do you see what i mean now we do have template template parts of course which is our header and our footer and again those are just super simple no styling no fancy stuff just starting points for your design or the design that you've been given. So you see what I mean, super simple, clean, ultra basic starting point, but has all the bits. Let's have a quick look at the theme files. Again, just enough, never too much. We've got a style CSS that is enqueued. We have got a functions already in the theme that just has the basics that I will always need for a new theme build the templates which we've seen, no patterns. And there's a tutorial coming up very shortly about managing patterns for your web projects. Parts, just the foot and the header, and no assets apart from the JS, which I'm enqueuing through the function, just so it's there if it's needed for a particular site. If we look at the theme.json, Again, no fancy stuff here, just the basics for a bit of fluid typography, fonts, but system fonts only. Only the minimal amount of styling just to kind of get you started. And what I've done is I've I've actually zeroed quite a few of the of the of the blocks so there's no random margins or padding and things like that. What you see is what you get with the block starter theme that I've got here. And in my humble opinion, it is indeed a cracking little bit of kit if you want something for building block themes with when you take a design and you want to plonk it on an ultra simple solid base starter theme. Anyway, want to see it in action? Check out this mini masterclass on block theming using this little theme. But until next time, I shall see you later.